Here we are in Techtober. Apple's iPhone 14 Plus finally came out later than the other models for some reason. I guess Apple wants to keep things interesting for longer with those separate releases, trying not to let Google steal the spotlight with its own new Pixel 7 series. In any case, here it is, the new iPhone 14 Plus, a brand new iPhone model that comes to replace the iPhone mini. And as someone who's been using the iPhone 12 mini for over a year now, what's it like switching from Apple's smallest iPhone to Apple's biggest iPhone? Let's find out. Shout out to iBlazon for sponsoring a part of this video. Hey, I'm Rado with Phone Arena and this is an iPhone mini next to the iPhone 14 Plus. While the mini is tiny, the new iPhone 14 Plus is about the same size as the iPhone 14 Pro Max, so it is huge. Now, I always liked the mini line, but apparently most people didn't bother with it, at least not enough for Apple to keep it alive. So now we get the iPhone 14 Plus instead, and I think it's a great idea for Apple to make this phone. Finally, you can buy a large iPhone without having to spend over a thousand dollars for a Pro Max. So what's it like switching to that from the tiny iPhone mini? Well, let's start with the obvious. The iPhone mini has a tiny 5.4 inch screen, which is just too small to watch movies or videos on and actually enjoy them. It was always too small for me to text on it too, because the on-screen keyboard is tiny. Still, it's a beautiful 60Hz OLED display, so it's not a downgrade in terms of quality. It's just that phones this small don't make sense anymore. We do everything on our phones these days, and that requires, well, to be able to see what's going on without squinting. And for the new iPhone 14 Plus, the size and feel in the hand is definitely night and day. This phone is huge. It has a 6.7 inch OLED display, which is way more comfortable for watching movies on. However, unlike the new iPhone Pro models, this one is still 60Hz, and it doesn't support always on display either. And if Apple managed to hype you up with that dynamic island on the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max, well, you'll be disappointed to find out that this one still has the same old notch as last year's iPhones. There's really nothing special here. This is an iPhone 14, but bigger. Like I said earlier, the body is as big as the iPhone 14 Pro Max's body, but because we have slightly thicker bezels here, the screen is ever so slightly smaller, but it's still huge. Despite being a bit boring and not looking too fresh, this iPhone serves a great purpose. Until now, if you wanted a large iPhone, you had to buy the Pro Max spending a minimum of $1100. Now you don't. The iPhone 14 Plus starts at $900, which is quite expensive still, but a bit more acceptable. Now again, I can't stress enough how big of a difference this phone is after using the iPhone mini for so long. The whole reason I bought the mini is because I was sick of using huge phones and I wanted to try something light and easy to carry around. But the small display is definitely a bigger issue than I expected. Worst of all, this particular iPhone mini has weak battery life. Now, I'm happy to say that the new iPhone 14 Plus fixes both of those problems. Not only does it have that huge display, but it also has a big battery that lasts a long time. In fact, Apple boldly advertises this phone as offering the longest battery life ever on any iPhone. And that's the second biggest reason you want to consider it. Battery life is definitely good. While my iPhone 12 mini could barely last a day, the iPhone 14 Plus can comfortably hold on for two days or even three with light usage before it finally needs to be charged. And once again, that's a huge deal and a huge upgrade over the mini here. And to be fair, some of the reasons the iPhone 14 Plus lasts so long are actually because it's lacking features. Not only does it not have a 120 Hz display like the Pro and Pro Max, but it also doesn't have always on display, which they do. Pair that with the older but still power efficient A15 Bionic chip inside and well optimized iOS 16 operating system. Okay, so big screen and big battery, the two most significant selling points of the iPhone 14 Plus and the two main reasons I'm happy to upgrade to it from an iPhone mini. Is there anything else worth mentioning? Well, yeah, due to its size and perhaps the fact that it has a better speaker inside, this phone sounds amazing. Whether you're listening to music or watching a movie, it's loud, pretty full, with even some bass. Now, that's not to say that the iPhone mini sound sucks, but it's definitely thinner and weaker. We still get a single bottom firing speaker, but the earpiece chimes in too, and thanks to it, there's a good stereo effect when watching content. So for those who love watching YouTube videos or streaming movies on their phones, you'll be happy to know that those will not only look great, but sound great too. And the same goes for gamers. And between you and me, a big additional reason I want to upgrade to a new iPhone is because my mini is pretty banged up. Because it's so tiny, it's also easy to drop, and well, I dropped it. <laughs> Didn't use a case either, so now look at it. Poor thing, it doesn't look and feel new anymore, and those scratches will hurt my resale value. Don't you hate it when this happens? Well, it doesn't need to happen to you, because this segment of the video is sponsored by Casemaker iBlazon. Their RS case for the iPhone 14 series will keep your phone looking good as new for a long time, thanks to its shock-absorbing TPU bumper. 
unbending polycarbonate shell and those raised air cushioned corners. The fact that they're raised means that they not only offer fall protection, but will protect the display from rubbing against surfaces and potentially scratching. Speaking of fall protection, this case is drop test certified for additional peace of mind. As someone who loves reliable rugged cases, I gotta say that I'm very happy with how this case looks too. It has a transparent back, so your chosen iPhone color will remain visible, but the matte colored corners add some extra character and style to the overall package. The case comes with a built-in screen protector, which is always a welcome bonus, and that one will additionally protect the display from everyday scratches and cracks with no compromise to touch sensitivity. And if you love the RS case here, but also want MagSafe, well, iBlazon has you covered with the aptly named RS Mag. Right now, it's the perfect time to get this case. iBlazon is running a 25% off hero discount for teachers, students, military personnel, first responders, and healthcare workers when you shop on iBlazon.com. So check out the link below for all the details and get yourself an RS case right now, or just type in iPhone 14 case by iBlazon on Amazon, check out all the other cases the company offers and pick your favorite. So there we have it, I've switched from the iPhone 12 mini to the iPhone 14 plus and I couldn't be happier that Apple finally gave us a huge iPhone without making us pay Pro Max prices. I've had a good run with the mini, but I completely understand why the mini lineup was retired in favor of this new plus model. Big phones make a big difference and this one in in particular is the phone you should get if you want an iPhone with a large beautiful display, big long lasting battery, but you don't need all of those pro bells and whistles that the more expensive iPhones have, such as an always on display and 120Hz refresh rate. Of course I have to say that before using the mini I was always using huge phones, but if you're not used to big phones this one might feel a bit too big for you. You definitely need to have some big hands to use it comfortably and even more importantly big pockets and will I find it surprisingly light in the hand? its weight of 203 grams might be a bit too much for some. So you need to be sure a big phone really is right for you before pulling the trigger on this one. And another thing that's worth mentioning, all of the new iPhone 14 models, including this one, no longer come with a SIM card tray in the US. So if you live in the US, you will have to use eSIM instead. But we do have the European version here, so it's still here, but probably not for long. In any case, there we have it, Apple's new iPhone 14 Plus, and what it's like switching to that huge beast from the tiny iPhone mini. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more upcoming content about the new iPhone and about Google's Pixel 7 series right here. And for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech, also check out phonearena.com. See you next time.